Hey everyone and welcome to this creative workshop. And in this workshop, what we're gonna be looking at is how to create custom sized sequences in Adobe Premiere Pro. And this has become more important in video editing because now video editors are designing content and creating content for social media. And we need to be able to change the aspect ratio of the video to upload it to sites like Instagram or you may even need to resize the video so that it fits in an attachment for an email. So resizing video is an important part of a modern editor's skill set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at some sequence settings, and then I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom one. And in the description of this video, I'm also gonna post some sizes of video that are used within social media for video editors, just in case you wanna create your own custom sizes for that particular output. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to File, New, Sequence. And from here, I'm just going to go to Settings. And I'm gonna choose Custom. And Custom allows me to choose different time bases. So if I filmed in 24 frames per second, I can select that. Um, I can choose the different frame size and the horizontal frame size. I can choose the different pixel aspect ratio. If you don't know what pixel aspect ratio is, for the moment, just use square pixels. If you were to choose any of the other ones, it depends on what type of screen um, the output is for. But most of the time now, if you're viewing social media, it's gonna be on your uh, laptop, on your tablet, on your mobile phone. This will be square pixels. Um, I can choose fields, which is progressive scan, um, which is no fields, upper field first or lower field first. Most of the time nowadays, you'd expect to um, be filming in progressive scan. So we're gonna select progressive scan. Display format, make sure that that matches the same as your time base. The working color space, uh, unless you are familiar with sort of like the type of cameras that are being used and whether they're being filmed in um, HLG or PQ, then for the moment, select Rec 709. The audio rate is at 48,000 Hertz. Just keep it at that for the moment. And finally, the preview file format. Um, this is actually only to do with the preview files that are being used with inside of Premiere. And to be honest, I've never really noticed any difference between the ones that I've used. And for the moment, I'm gonna stick with iframe only MPEG. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the horizontal frame size and the vertical frame size to a sequence setting that matches one of our social media outputs. So for example, Instagram has a square video format, which is 1080 by 1080. So if I change this to 1080 by 1080, I'll then come down to the bottom. I can give this a sequence name. This is dependent on your project. So I'll call this um, test sequence. And then I'm just gonna save the preset and it offers me a name now. So I'll call this IG 1080 by 1080 and click OK. And now I have a new custom folder with the Instagram preset. And if you wanted to add more of these, you can just go through the same process again. And by simply double clicking on the preset, I've got my sequence ready and it's a square preset ready for me to import my video to. And now what you could do is you could go into the description of this video and look at some of the different sizes that are used with inside of Instagram and Facebook and other social media sites and create your own custom presets. One of the issues with creating some social media posts is that my footage might not be the right size for the actual output. So if I bring it over to here and insert it onto the timeline, I get the option to change the sequence settings, which will change it back to this size or keep the settings. So I just press keep settings and you can see it's inputted the video into the sequence. Now, if I was to resize this video, the main focus of the video, in this case, the car, might go outside of the boundary of the frame, which then becomes an issue because you may have to then move the subject around just to keep it in the middle of the frame. However, there's a new feature inside of Premiere that allows auto reframing. So if you wanna watch how to auto reframe, not only just a single video clip, but maybe an entire sequence, watch my next video on the auto reframe feature in Premiere Pro.